Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. So, in this video, we're just going to be going ahead and focusing on the new Meet the New Cookie event, which is Meet Pastel Meringue Cookie. Now, first of all, let me just say, if you saw, if you, as you can see to the right, I have done some of these missions before, but that's because I recorded another video that was before this one, which was me reacting to the new trophy race level that they released. Was it painful? Absolutely. But now we have to focus on this because there's actually a couple events I want to focus on. I want to see how many I can do in like one sitting. But with that being said, first of all, let's just go over the classic thing. They basically these events are something that they do nearly every update whenever they release a new cookie. And this one is focusing on meat pastel meringue cookie or just pastel meringue cookie, which how these event works is that how these events work is that there's two reward systems, one to the right and one to the left. Now, the left rewards are what you are mainly going to be focusing on to actually fill up the rewards on the right. Am I? Wait. Am I getting that wrong? The reward. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. The rewards on the right are the things that you're going to be mainly focusing on for the rewards on the left. The rewards, are, the rewards on the right are things that you need to do within certain game modes just so you can increase not only the friendship points, but also get small little rewards that will help out. For example, the ones that I have uh, done right now, apparently, which is trophy race layer ones. Uh, get 300 million points, get 500 million points, and get 1 billion points. So, with that being said... Doing that will get you friendship points. The friendship points are the main thing that you need to get the rewards on the left. And, you know, those are the big rewards. Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, some of these rewards are pretty good, like spirit potions, magic powder, sugar crystals, all that stuff, stuff for the magic candy, and a bunch of other things. But the big rewards are over to the left, which it says for front, uh, 20 friendship points, you get 200,000 coins. 40 friendship points is five quick play tickets for main story. 60 friendship points gives you 15 of the new cookies pet. 80 friendship points gives you 1,000 magic powder and 100 friendship points giving you the last reward of 15 pastel meringue cookies. Definitely helpful for you to level them up very quickly. So there's also some repeatable rewards that you can do every day, like trophy race, open uh, gold chest two times, which if you, if you just do that, like, well, I don't know, like literally 10 times, then that's already 50. And if you do the same thing with breakout, run two times each and every single day, then just do that. That's 50 plus 50. That's 100. Your event is already done. And that's not even including all the ones that you can just do for one time. There's a bunch of breakout ones, like getting the light spheres, which are the things that you collect during a breakout. There's the weekly breakout rewards. There's like, I think two times and four times. And then there's just points in breakout in total for single run and all. Well, I guess it's just for a single run, unfortunately. But there is also a bunch of trophy race related stuff that you can get. So, for example, I can just get these relatively quick, and that gives me five friendship points plus 50,000 uh, coins. And then this one is 10 of the things for the magic candy and seven friendship points. And then this one, which is a billion points, I have seven more friendship points and 50,000 coins. I literally only need one more point for me to actually get enough for the 200,000 coins. Now, I doubt I'm going to be able to complete this in one day. Maybe I'll need some help with the uh, everyday tasks. So maybe it might take maybe at least three days to do. But I'll try and get as much as I can done because I'm always down to get the free rewards. So if we go over to Trophy Race Open go Two Gold Chests, you can just press go and it takes you immediately to Trophy Race. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just say pleb it and we're just going to go ahead and run the Trophy Race because as long as we get a, like a rather high ranking like a right like somewhere high in like top 10 i'll be pretty happy with that though the good thing is i do have like some shields for my trophy so even if i do get a bad grading it's not going to affect it and of course this is the new level so i'm not sure if i'll be releasing the uh, trophy race level later or sooner but i'm just going to be running with the copy that i have currently right now and i have done some practice on, pr i've done some practicing on this level and i'm not saying i'm not going to do terrible but all i can at least promise is that i've seen this level before that's it <laughs> Is it promising? No. But welcome to Hyper Hives. Do you expect anything good to come out of this? Probably not. But I'm at least going to try and do it with a smile on my face to the, for the most part. Uh, jump over this. this. These parts are pretty tricky to go through. Especially that jump right there. That's a pretty tough jump. And then it just keeps on getting worse somehow. Like literally a majority of these jumps, you could probably literally fall. And like it'd be every single jump is so tight basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's go activate right here again. There's two specific spots that I'm worried about, and there's one definitely near the end that I'm terrified of. But let me tell you, this uh, crazy mode version of this level, it's not easy. Literally, you need to just rely on all of your wits to actually like get far. This part is simple for the most part, but then after all these blasts, it's like it's, it's it's hard. Basically, okay, jump up there. I do still have my motor, so I can take one hit, but I'd rather not get hit at all and also i'd rather not fall i can't believe i keep rhyming accidentally uh here we go 
I think early, I think at one point I actually did take some damage. Uh, not in this run, I mean like one of my previous trophy race practices. So this is already new progress that I'm unaware about, which is great. Now this part, oh, you want to talk about like how to get confused absurdly? Look, check this out. They just throw in platforms that just rise from the ground. From the ocean, I guess. And boy, how do you do is it confusing. Oh my lord. Jeez, look at that! Literally, it doesn't, it may not see, oh yeah, it just spews all those rainbow bear jellies out at you, which I think is, I mean, if it wasn't confusing before, good pubbing luck. Oh my lord. Okay, jump down there. And, uh, no, oh, that's bad. Oh, if I get hit here, that's, uh, okay, I did reach the bonus time, though. That is good. Better progress, I guess. Uh, try and get, okay, I didn't get the big potion, which is unfortunate, because that probably means I'm gonna get less rainbow bear jellies. There we go. All right, try and get as many of these Rainbow Bird Jellies as possible. We're back being small. Get the clocks, too, because you need to stay in here for as much as you can, because that's a lot of Rainbow Bird Jellies. If I could, I feel like a good treasure to equip here would be the Rainbow Bird Jelly Roll Cake, like the Rainbow Roll Log Cake, whatever that was, where it basically gives you more increased points for Rainbow Bird Jellies, because I feel like that would be very much worth it for here. Uh, if I'm lucky enough, I couldn't get hit, but I feel like I might, because there's just a lot of plugging arrows. I know for a fact there weren't this many, Heck, they were pro- Ow! Okay, well, that's terrible for the first run. I might still do good, though, but I don't know. Maybe my skill activates- Actually, I do have the Red Egg of Resurrection, so that might help me a lot. Okay, now I feel like I'm in familiar territory. Okay. Yep. Okay, it's gonna- uh, I didn't- Actually, no, wait. My skill activates here, so I don't care about the magnet. All right, well- Oh, here's gonna be an unfortunate part. I just realized- Oh, shoot. I- uh, I got damaged, and the reason why I say that's not good is because upcoming- Oh, yep. And that big potion is going to be meaningless now. I am in first place, but I just hate it when that happens. When that last blast and you get the potion, and then nothing happens with it. It's just so sad, man. So sad, man. Okay, this is all terrifying. Okay, thank you for that big old stomp ginseng. I was going to say something weird, but I don't... I was like, man, why did, my, why did my mind go into that? Ah, dang it, I deserve that. Uh, plug it. Just get that, and just, we gotta try and make as much progress as possible. Last time I did this, this sucked. I got hit, literally, this is exact, this is the exact same turnout of events that literally happened in the, uh, regular Trophy Race video. I literally got hit once with Ginseng, and then I got hit twice with a, no, I got one, hit once with Long Yan, and I got hit twice with Ginseng. Oh, and this part is not any easier. Did that recharge by itself, the motor, or was that, like, did it, re did it recharge by the time that I lost my energy? I don't know, but whatever the case... Literally, the best that we can do is, like, okay. <laughs> I wasn't even going to expect to, like, survive that lo much longer anyway. But I feel like my place is easily going to get thrown over the top because I think other people are still running. I do have rather a high place, so maybe if I end up finishing here and maybe there's a chance, but that person in fourth is easily, re yeah. If Fleming now they're in third place, pretty sure soon enough it's going to just keep on going. Then it's going to be second. Yep, they claim second. <laughs> And now it's going to be first in just a couple seconds, so my place is definitely going to fall down the ladder. Uh, so, and oh, everyone else is still running too. Okay, well, fifth place did finish, so I guess I get to keep some sort of a landmark. Uh, yeah. All right, well, that, that seems about that. Oh, and they just finished only just a couple. Oh, I swear I can get so much better with a score if I just didn't. Uh, whatever, I'll see you at the next portion of this video, because this is just, yeah. So if we stumble back in here, and then we see Breakout run two times. We can press go on that, and it sends us over here. Now, I know the music seems all dreary and scary and everything, but we're just going to do Escape the Oven because there's a day left on that, so I may as well do as much progress here as I possibly can. So, let's just go ahead. I already assembled a good combi, which is straight up the one that Fleming, uh, Dr. Wasabi Cookie gave me, which, of course, it has to be the long gan with the legendary costume, so why the pleb not? Let's go ahead and just dreary install this upon me. Well, I mean... How would you feel with all these cookies escaping, fresh escaping the oven, who's trying their desperate lives trying to run away from the Plumbing Witches? You think you know dreariness? You probably do, because you're way older than probably every single other person who exists. Well, I mean, how old is Timekeeper? Does Timekeeper- See, he, how old is Plumbing Timekeeper? Does Timekeeper have an age? Because, like, it's either that they, like, they have nothing, or it's like they're infinite. I'm assuming infinite, because does Time even have a Plumbing age? Because at this point, like, it reminds me of a uh, Mother 3. Like, you know, Earthbound, if anyone remembers that. It's like, I know this is probably, if no one who understands the story will make sense of this, but, like, the best way I can describe it is that there's a character who, like, repeatedly, like, travels back and forth in time. And I guess their vitality is, like, the same, but their body is grown old and withered, so they have to move through a machine. 
But I guess they're not a cookie, so really they can't relate. But anyway, just gonna go ahead and run through this. And I guess since we've basically seen the majority of what this place has to offer, I'll just go ahead and just do some random talking about stuff. Uh, I really want to finish that Your Local Plot video, because Ivan's just like... It's not that I haven't been motivated to, like, not, like... Basically, I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm not motivated to finish it. I'm just saying there's so much cookie run stuff I want to try and bulk record so I can have free time to record other stuff for your, lo your local pleb. And it's been quite the struggle because I've been trying to balance, like, a lot between cookie running, like, Oven Break and also Kingdom and also just other videos in general and also trying to have free time to myself in real life. But I think tonight I want to just, like, do a bunch of videos of Oven Break. And then once I get the free time, I want to do the last part of the year. Because everything in the gaming bit is done. Like, the whole two segments of the parts of the uh, next year local play video, which is going to be a follow-up to the Doors video, which is uh, basically, oh, it got updated, so let's see what it's all about. And I don't care if it doesn't even get any views, because, like, at this point, I basically missed the opportunity by a long shot for, like, you know, more views because, uh, oh, it's relevancy. Because I mean, I mean, it's kind of still relevant, but, like, I think all the content for it has already been milked dry. I've, it's been nearly a month. Has it hasn't been? Maybe it's been, like, only, like, over two weeks. So, I don't know. But I just want to get that done ASAP. And all I have to do is I need to make a script for, like, the funny Vegas editing part. And then after that, it'll be it'll be all set. It'll be all gold and we'll be all platinum. Like, I just want to get that done. And, just, and after that, then I can take a little bit of a break from your local pleb. Maybe in the meantime, get some other footage for, for like, other games for the channel. And see what we can do from there. Because I already have a good idea for another video I want to make. Because it's going to be a series overview video. Now, the, su the series is going to be relatively short. But it's about an animated series. Where I'm not going to say anything. But the, o the only hint I'll give is Dream Barbecue. But that's it. That's, all that's the only hint that I'm going to give. But with that being said, that run is finished. And we got over 400 million points from that single run. But it's definitely not over yet. I'm going to have to run in this a lot. And especially one more time. Just so I can get the daily bonus of, you know, 5 friendship points. But will that take a while? It depends on who you're asking. Why, well, yes, I am resting on the screen because I just finished everything in the plumbing event. The, l no joke, I just finished right here. I had to do one more thing, which was basically, oh, just get all the plumbing uh, light spheres and stuff like that. And I did the math, and I should have everything set. So we have 39 right now, so 700 million points. That's seven friendship points and two things for a magic candy blessing ticket, but they're the basic ones. Three billion points in total for trophy race. That's putting seven of those friendship points and ten things for the magic candy for pastel. Not yeah. Yeah, it is. Pass down my ring. Uh, 5 billion points in trophy raise, 4 silver magic powder, and 7 friendship points. Earn 200 million points in the single run and breakout. That's 15 bronze uh, sugar crystals, which are very useful to have for magic candy. And so the silver ones, too. And 7 friendship points. Breakout, 500 million points. That's 1 treasure incantation ticket, or treasure summoning ticket, whatever. And 7 friendship points. Now we're already at 74. Now we just get the rest of these three. 500 life spheres in breakout, which is 50,000 coins and 10 friendship points. Uh, 120, no, 1,200 life spheres in breakout which is five more of those things for the magic candy and 10 friendship points and last but certainly not least there's collect 2,000 light spheres and breakout which is uh two of the better magic candy blessing tickets and 10 friendship points so now with all that done you can get the rewards on the left now which is at 20 friendship points 200,000 coins 40 friendship points five quick play main story tickets 60 friendship points 15 of pastel moraine cookies pet 80 friendship points 1,000 magic powder and last but certainly not least 15 just for 100 uh, not 15 friendship points but for 100 friendship points that gives you 15 of the new cookie good for if you need to upgrade them so now that this event is finished i do want to at least mention that you can still do these other like the everyday ones like the other missions like the everyday ones you can still do that for coins and stuff and the other ones like for example this one for three spirit potions if you have the time be sure and try and do that and magic powder why not even though they won't reward you with anything on the left they can still give you some rewards so if you want to do that then that's fine but for now i'll end the video right here if you enjoy this video then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my cook run content and if you enjoy my content in general why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever i do in the future i also have merch if you want to check it out but i'm not forcing you to buy anything at all i also have a discord down in the description if you want to check that out it's a fun time down there and we're trying to expand each and every single day and last but certainly not least there's also another link down in the description that leads to a twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes i can get the cook run youtube set for absolutely free but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype please